Hello and welcome to part two of our welcome guide to European Bus Simulator for the PC, brought to you by Excalibur Publishing and developed by TML Studios. In this video, we'll go through the procedure of charging customers for tickets. Before we start, some of you may not be too fussed about charging customers directly, so hop into the game settings and you'll be able to use a slider to adjust how frequent customers will ask you to operate the cash register. Set it to the far left to decrease and set it to the right to increase. Let's set it to maximum so we can show you what to do. I only have cash. This customer wants a ticket. On the far right you can see whether they need a standard, student, OAP or a disabled ticket. There's also a notice telling me I'm 9 minutes early, probably due to some reckless driving from the garage, but we'll ignore that for now. This person needs a student ticket. She's placed her money on the cash register and we need to click on it to pick it up. She's given us 5 euros. Now we need to enter the cash register. This may seem a bit daunting at first, but let's have a look at the most used cash register buttons. The N stands for standard, the stud means student, REN means OAP, Mob Ein means disabled, the red C button means cancel, and the best button means enter. Our customer wants a student ticket, so we'll hit the relevant button. On the screen it now has a series of symbols and the price of the ticket in the middle. We know the student has given us 5 euros, so let's tap that in. Then we'll hit the best button. The cash machine will do the calculations and tell us that the customer is owed 3.40 euros. You can either hit the C button to cancel or hit the best button to print out the ticket. We'll just print out the ticket for now. So the change isn't going to magically swoop out of our cash register into the wallet of the customer. On the cash register are a series of numbers relating to different value of coins. All you need to do is add up the amount. It will get put into the change pot and the customer will get on the bus. If you offer the customer too much money, you can just click the change pot and it will cancel. Additionally, some customers may be expecting a higher amount of change, so instead of giving them loads of coins, you can open this compartment and you can offer them notes as well. That's really all there is to charging customers. In the next video, we'll show off a portion of a bus driving route and tell you how to set up a return trip when you reach your final stop. 